Today we're going to be learning how to solve equations with brackets. So let's have a look at the first example we're going to be doing. Over here we've got 2 times 3x plus 2 equal to 5 times x minus 3. Okay, the first thing you have to do when you get an equation with brackets is you have to get rid of the brackets. You have to multiply it out. Okay, now we've already learned how to do this. When we were doing algebraic expressions, we learned how to multiply a polynomial by a monomial. We're going to be doing the same thing over here. We're multiplying into the bracket. So we're going to multiply the 2 by the 3x, and we're going to multiply the 2 by the 2. And that's going to give us 2 times 3x is 6x, and 2 times 2 is plus 4. Then on the right hand side, I also have to do the same thing. I'm going to multiply my 5 into the brackets there. That gives me 5x. And over there, that gives me minus 15. So 5 times, 5, 5 times x is 5x, and 5 times negative 3 is minus 15. Okay, so once we've done, done that, we then can just simplify or solve as normal. So 6x plus 4 equals 5x minus 15. My next step is to make sure I only have x's on one side of my equation. And to do that, I need to get rid of them on the right-hand side. So I'm going to say on the left-hand side, I'm only worrying about the x's at the moment. So I've got 6x. And then I'm not going to worry about that. I'll worry about that when I get to the right-hand side. And then over here, I've got 5x I need to get rid of. So I'm going to subtract 5x on both sides. So that's going to be minus 5x equals. Over here, I've got negative 15. And then I want to get rid of this plus 4 over here. So I'm going to subtract the 4 on both sides, giving me minus 4. Remember, when we are working with an equation, if we do something to one side of the equation, we have to do the same thing to the other side to keep it balanced. So if I subtract 4 over here to cancel that out, I have to subtract 4 over here as well. Okay, so now I can simplify both sides of my equation. 6x minus 5x is just x equals negative 15 minus 4 is negative 19. So because I have no coefficient here, I am now done. If I had a coefficient, I would need to then divide or multiply if it was a fraction. And therefore, x is equal to negative 19. So that's what you get for that example. So now I'm going to give you a few that you're going to work on for yourself. We're going to do them one at a time. The first example is this one over here. And I'm going to give you one minute to try and solve for x in this example. Okay, so let's go through that example. So the first thing we have to do is multiply out our brackets. We always have to get rid of the brackets first by multiplying out. So I'm going to multiply the 4 into that bracket over there. That gives me 4 times 4 is 16. And then 4 times positive x is plus 4x equals. And over here, again, I'm going to multiply out. So that's 3 multiplied into the brackets over there. 3 times 5 is 15. And 3 times negative x is minus 3x. Okay, so once we've got to that point, we can then go and solve as normal. So I'm going to get all my x's on the left, all my constants on the right. So on the left, I'm not worrying about the 16 at the moment. I'm just going to worry about my x terms. So I've got 4x. There are no other x terms here. So I look at my right, and I need to get rid of the minus 3x over there by adding 3x. So I must do that on both sides. So plus 3x equals. On the right-hand side, I've got 15. There are no other constants yet, but I need to get rid of the 16 over here. So I'm going to subtract 16, so I must do that on both sides. So I might subtract 16 over there as well. So now I have 4x plus 3x is 7x equal to 15 minus 16, which is negative 1. 
Now that I've got this, I need to get rid of the 7 that is here with the x. To do that, I'm going to use the inverse of multiplication because it's 7 times x. So I'm going to divide by 7, and that will cancel out the 7. But when I do that, I have to do the same thing on the right-hand side as well. So I have negative 1 divided by 7. Remember, we're going to write it as a fraction, negative 1 over 7. So now I can't simplify that fraction any further, so that I'm going to leave it as it is. Question B. This is question B over here. Okay, so I'm going to give you one minute again to simplify or to solve this equation. Okay, so let's go through that example. So here I've got 3 plus 4, then in brackets, x minus 4, equals 4 minus, and in brackets, 2 plus x. So first, just like I had in the previous example, I need to first multiply out those brackets. So I'm going to multiply the 4 into, those, into that bracket over there. And over here, I need to be careful, so we'll do that when we get to there. So over here on the left-hand side, I've got 3 plus 4 times x is 4x, and then 4 times negative 4 is negative 16 equals. And then over here I've got 4, and then you need to be careful. This over here is a minus, but it's not just a minus, it is minus 1. If you can't see it, there's a 1 over there. So we're multiplying negative 1 into those brackets over there. So that gives me negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. And then negative 1 times x is minus x. And then once you've done that, you can go ahead and solve as normal. So now I'm going to get all my x's on the left-hand side. So I'm going to ignore the, the constants for now. I'll get to them when I get to the right-hand side. So I've got 4x. Then on the right-hand side, I've got a negative x that I want to get rid of. So I'm going to add x over here on both sides. Then on the right-hand side, I've got 4 minus 2. Then I want to get rid of this 3 on the left-hand side, so I'm going to subtract 3 on both sides. And then I want to get rid of this negative 16, so I'm going to add 16 on both sides. Okay, so once I've done that, I can now simplify. 4x plus x is 5x equal to 4 minus 2 minus 3 plus 16, and that's going to give me 15. And then once you've done that, you can now get rid of the 5 by dividing by 5 because it's 5 times x. So we're going to simplify or we're going to get rid of the 5 and cancel it out by dividing by 5. So that gives us x equals 15 divided by 5. We have to do it on both sides and that gives us 3. So therefore, x is equal to 3 for question B. Then question C is this one over here. Okay, so this one's a little bit more complicated, so I'm going to give you two minutes to work on this example.
Okay, so question C. We had 4x plus 5, then in brackets 4 plus x, equal to 3, and in brackets x minus 5 plus 5. Okay, so first, just like the other ones, we're going to multiply out our brackets. We've got 5 being multiplied into that bracket over there. We've got 3 being multiplied into that bracket over there. Okay, so first over here, I've got 4x plus 5 times 4 is 20, then plus 5 times x is plus 5x equals 3 times x is 3x, 3 times negative 5 is minus 15, and then plus 5. Okay, so now I can go and I can move things around. I can get my x's on one side and my constants on the other side. So we have 4x plus 5x on the left-hand side. And on the right-hand side, on the right-hand side, I've got a 3x that I want to get rid of. So I'm going to subtract 3x on both sides. Equals. And on the right-hand side, I've got negative 15 plus 5. And on the left-hand side, I've got positive 20 that I want to get rid of. So I'm going to subtract 20 on both sides. Okay, so now I can go and simplify. 4x plus 5 minus 3x, and that gives us 6x. Equals. And on the right-hand side, negative 15 plus 5 minus 20 gives us negative 30. Once you've got that, we need to get rid of that 6. So I'm going to divide by 6 because it's 6 multiplied by x. I need to use the inverse of multiplication, which is division. So I'm going to divide by 6 on both sides. So therefore, x is equal to negative 30 divided by 6, which is negative 5. So that's what you should have got for question C. And then the last question for today is question D. Okay, and I'm going to give you again two minutes to solve this equation. Okay, so let's see how that last example went. So we've got 5 and then in brackets 3 plus 2x minus in brackets 3 minus 2x equals 4, then in brackets 2x plus 2, and then plus 5 in brackets 2x plus 5. So the first thing we're going to do, just like in the previous examples, is we need to go and multiply out those brackets. So we've got 5 that we're multiplying into the first set of brackets. Then over here, I've got negative 1. Remember, you can't see the 1, but it's there. So it's negative 1 being multiplied into that set of brackets. And we've got 4 being multiplied in there and 5 being multiplied in there. Okay, and this is what it's going to look like. So we've got 5 times 3 is 15. 5 times 2x is plus 10x. Then I've got negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. Negative 1 times negative 2x is positive 2x equals 4 times 2x is 8x. 4 times 2 is plus 8. Then I've got plus 5 times 2x is plus 10x, and plus 5 times 5 is plus 25. 
Okay, so once we've got that, we can now go and simplify and solve as normal. So I'm going to move all my x's to the one side and all my numbers to the other side. So on my left hand side, I'm going to have 10x plus 2x. Then I'm going to have over here minus 8x. I need to get rid of it over there, so I'm going to subtract 8x. And I'm going to get rid of the, minus, the 10x and subtract 10x on both sides. Equals. Over here, I've got 8 and then plus 25. Then I need to get rid of this 15, so I'm going to subtract on both sides, 15. I need to get rid of this negative 3, so I'm going to add 3 on both sides. Okay, so once I've got that, I can then go and simplify. Now you can see over here I've got 10x minus 10x, those cancel. Now I could have cancelled them here already, the 10x and the 10x, and I wouldn't have had to worry about those at all. And then plus 2x minus 8x gives me negative 6x. Over here, I've got 8 plus 25 minus 15 plus 3. So 25 minus 15 is 10. So it's 8 plus 10, or that's plus 3. That gives me 21. And then I need to go and solve for x. For my last step over here is going to get rid of that negative 6. So I need to get rid of the negative 6 by dividing by negative 6 because it's a multiplication at the moment. So I need to have x equals a positive divided by negative is negative 21 divided by 6. But now this can be simplified because 3 goes into 21 7 times, 3 goes into 6 twice, so that gives me negative 7 over 2. So therefore, my final answer here is x equals negative 7 over 2. So that's what you should have got for question D. And that is how we solve equations with brackets. Now that we've learned the concepts in this lesson, it's important to practice, practice, practice. If you haven't already got the worksheet that goes with this video, you can find it by clicking on the link in the description below. The worksheet comes with an extra exercise full of questions for you to work on to master the concepts covered in this lesson. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button so that others can benefit from it too. Also be sure to subscribe so that you can easily find my other lessons and hit the bell so that you will get notified about lessons as I upload them.